It says here what? In the eighth verse, it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. We're going to stop right there. Amen. So first of all, it's the grace of God that qualifies us to be chosen. Amen. Amen. Turn over to Philippians. Amen. The third chapter. Amen. Amen. The third chapter, beginning at the fourth verse. Amen. You know, a lot of us, we live our lives every day trying to qualify ourselves. Come on. To be saved. To feel liberated. To feel free. We spend our days trying to work our way into salvation. When we just read that it's not by works. Amen. 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 A lot of us, we feel so inferior. We feel so uh, unable to live the life that God has called us to live. So therefore, it causes us to live in condemnation of ourselves. Hallelujah. So I'm asking you, what qualifies you to be a child of the Most High God? What qualifies you to be chosen? Is it because of something that you did? No. Is it because of who you are? No. No. It's not by works. Lest any man should boast. Amen. And, 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 and uh, Paul picked it up. Amen. In Philippians. Amen. The third chapter. And, and, and the thing is, is that he was explaining to us. Amen. That, that, that the things that we uh, 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 think about. Or the things that we think that qualifies us to, to be chosen. Mean nothing. nothing. Amen. When you pick it up in the fourth verse. It says here. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. Paul was about to give his qualifications of who he is. It says here, circumcised in the eighth day. Come on now. So in other words, he was telling you that according to the law, he was circumcised on the eighth day of his life. Uh, he was of the stock of Israel. So it sounds like he was, you know, in his birth, amen, the right thing was done, amen, it seems like he was born to the right people, amen. A lot of us feel like we were born to the wrong people, amen. Amen, it says that he was of the tribe of Benjamin, oh, that's good, he sounds like he has some connection, amen. And Hebrew, of the Hebrews, He's given us his qualifications as touching the law of Pharisee. He was a scripture lawyer. He knew the word of God. Amen. He knew the law of Moses, which the Pharisees, amen, they were ones, amen, that would keep the law, amen. They knew all about the law. If you wanted to know something about the law, that's what you went to them for. Amen. But, but, but all of that, amen, it says here, concerning zeal, Amen. He persecuted the church. Amen. Now he's telling you, amen, all that, the good and the bad. The good and the bad. A lot of us, we don't really like to talk about the good things in our life, but there's good and bad. Amen. So he's telling you his qualifications. Amen. He persecuted the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. So in other words, he was saying that right now I'm living according to the word of God. Amen. It says, but what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. They mean nothing. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb, that I may win Christ. Tell somebody, win Christ. win Christ. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter about the good that you feel like you've done in your life, or the bad that you've done in your life. Amen. You must confess with your mouth 
And people say, well, wait a minute, you just said that it wasn't by works that we're saved. No, it's not. But I'm going to tell you this, in order to come into the uh, realization of God and who he is, it may not take a work, but it takes action. Come on now. There's a difference between work and action. And in order to change, come on somebody, you've got to take action in your life. I'm not telling you that you have to work for salvation. See, that, that's, a, that's a mistake that a lot of people are living under. Amen. And, and, and they find themselves not worthy because we and of ourselves are not capable. Come on, I said we of ourselves. With Jesus Christ, we know that the Bible says that what we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Amen. And we know that it is grace. Amen. But it's not by works, amen, but it is an action that we must take. Amen. In Acts 16, in the 31st chapter, in the 31st verse, it says that you have to what? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and the household. Amen. So first of all, now believing is not a work. It's an action. Confessing with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord is not a work. It's an action. Amen. There's a difference, like I said, between an action and work. Amen. But but the thing is, is that we have to know, amen, that uh, 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 it, it, it's not saying that we are not supposed to work either. Amen. Even Jesus said, amen, in, in John the ninth chapter, amen, he said that I must do the work of my father while it is still day. Amen. So if Jesus had to work, what makes you think you can sit on your lazy behind, come on somebody, and not do what God has called us to do? Hallelujah. We, we, we want to think that, amen, that we can just skate through, amen. And, and, and the thing is that you got to understand that when you accept Jesus Christ in your life, you have been sealed. Come on. You have been vacuum packed. Amen. So these things, amen, they're not going to really affect your salvation unless you allow it to. Amen. Because as many people, amen, out in, out in uh, uh, even in the Christian community, amen, they want to preach once saved, always saved. And that's all right if you, if you feel that way. Amen. But, but from what I believe, come on now, you can give it up. You can turn your back. God will never turn his back on you. But you can give up your salvation. Hallelujah. If that were true, amen, it would not talk about that Jesus was married to the backslider. Amen. So we can backslide. We can turn our back on Christ. Amen. And therefore give up, amen, our seal. Hallelujah. Our birthright. Amen. The thing that will connect us to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And the thing is, is that, amen, again, amen, there's a difference, amen, between an action and a work. Let's think about that for a minute. An action, amen, accepting Jesus Christ into our life, saying the sinner's prayer, amen, that's an action. Amen, it's not a work, amen, and in that, amen, we receive our salvation. Amen.